what's up leo welcome to bmhp hope everyone is having a beautiful day leo today we are going to check into your person's energy and see kind of where the vibe is kind of how they're feeling about this connection what they got going on i got a new deck to introduce i'm so excited about it so let's see what's going on. Beloved, what's going on with Leo's person? How's Leo's person feeling about Leo at this time? Or what does Leo need to know? So, oh, this could be a new love. Someone new in your life, Leo. But there seems to be some obstacles either. I feel like they got some obstacles that they need to deal with in the past. Something that has a hold on them, has control over them. Something that's not allowing them to just be free. This person could be married. This person can be in a relationship or something like that. Or they're just dealing with some major life issues, major life crises. Something like that, Leo. Okay. So let's go ahead and bust out this new deck. I want to introduce my Divine Masculine Real Talk deck. Um, this is for the urban divine masculine for some of the um situations that our men in the urbanized area deal with. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Beloved, what's going on with Leo's person? What does Leo need to know about their person, please? All right, anything else, beloved? All right. So this person could have recently purchased a new car, new whip or something. They could have a charger, a challenger, um, some type of sports car, something that fast, something that um, gets the attention of women. You know, they could be going through a midlife crisis. Maybe they bought a bike or something like that, but just something new, okay? But, um, so we have brothers. So um, this person could be um, very close to their brother or have a brother that's a major influence in their life. They could be a younger brother, older brother, something like that. But their brothers play a profound role in their life. This person, Leo, has some type of um, secrets. They're either A, they're keeping from you or they um, their brothers know about. I mean, honestly, a lot of women don't know all their men's secrets. Men don't tell women everything. But um you know let's 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 just hope that it's not what I think it is. And the way it's coming out, huh, I don't know. If this new love, if they just hopped in the bed with you and they just on this, yeah, you might wanna um check them at the door and uh say no, I'm not I'm not on that, I'm not that type of girl or whatever. But it's definitely something to consider because this person might have a history of domestic violence. That's why people need to um, know people before they just hop in the bed with them because there's more to people than just what meets the eye. People are people of, of death. They're, they have, we all have past and things like that. They're coming up, um, Leo, as someone that may live a dangerous life or something. Maybe they carry guns or tote guns or do something like that. They could be into material um, items, um, clothing, things like that. Maybe that's what they're chasing after. But they definitely have someone in their um, energy that's a black widow. This is someone, unfortunately, I don't, you know, I wasn't planning on putting a black widow energy in here. But when, um, when I seen this picture, I couldn't help but to think of those women that I have known or have heard of who who deal with like what's that eve bayou type situation like all their husbands or all their men kind of pass away or something like that so yeah but leo there's a twin flame in your energy so it could be this person um that's your twin flame or something like that this person this person is definitely rough around the edges. They have a whole lot going on than what meets the eye. Like you could be physically attracted to this person, but I feel like this person has a lot going on with this money making Mitch card. Like they live a um a dangerous life. They do a lot of dangerous shit for this money. They don't just get it um easy. Okay, they have a lot of secrets that they keep from you, but they are definitely missing you. They missing they bitch. And yeah, I put it like that because that's how urbanized men talk. Like, man, I miss my bitch or whatever. 
but this person also enjoys having kinky sex so maybe they had sex with you in some unexpected ways maybe it turned you on maybe it turned you off but this person is definitely turned on by kinky sex let's see what else what else does leo need to know about this person what else oh here we go with it see what i'm saying so this person they like to uh, kick it with their boys and stuff. Some, For some reason, they boys, the homies, they like, I don't know. Men bond be unbreakable. Women bond break over men, usually, or jealousy or envy, something like that. But men bond seem to last a lifetime sometimes, unless they boy betray them. But... I don't know, messing with these homies might get this person some type of jail time. They can be doing some jail time or have done some jail time. But um, be careful, Leo, because this person might need some bail money, okay? So if this person been MIA, you, maybe you need to call um, the jails or prison and kind of see what's going on. This person could be making those power moves, if that's what you call it. That's how it came up with um, on my spirit. But they can be making power moves, Leo, and that might land them in some type of damn um, trouble. But take heed, Leo. Be refreshed because this might be one of those, um, you know how it's the calm before the storm type energy? Yeah. So it might be that. But let's go ahead and get into my facts. Urban Divide Masculine Truth deck. All the decks are available in my SD shop if you like them. But let's see what's up, beloved. What's going on with Leo's person? What does uh, Leo's person want Leo to know? You know, this um, this deck, this facts deck, this is for a higher vibrational Urban Divide Masculine. I wanted one that really really speak to the heart of things that like i said urban divine masculines be going through they can't let your ass go leo they feel a lot of pain so when when they say they missing a bitch they really missing you like they might be on some type of spiritual journey maybe whatever they're going through is part of this spiritual journey because sometimes it take a tower moment for us to um change our speed but you're the only one they want leo and this is why they feeling so much pain. They trying to figure out how the hell they let you go because they miss it how it feels to be with you. They know that there is um, no one like you, Leo. But let's see what's up. What else does Leo need to know? Ooh, we. I wish, you know what? One thing I feel like I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a third party deck. Only because people are always in third party damn situations. But I can't find a deck that really speak to it. And sometimes I want to hop into that energy. A lot of time I try to avoid it. Because so many people call them the karmic, you know, divine feminine, all of that stuff. I don't get into the karmic energy because it's just another person. You know, and it's it's hurtful for people to hear about the karmic. What if what if you hear that your person is in love with the karmic, and they're there because they they actually love the person? Then what? Are they still a karmic? I mean, people got choice. I just I just don't get it. But either way, archways, new opportunity, possibility, and paths opening up. This is that spiritual journey. This archway. This is what this person is coming into, Leo. Okay. Now it's an emotional security. And emotionally secure loving family is important to you so this person does have emotions and they know how to love this might be the type of person though Leo that I don't know if they left the mess yet because you know how these people they'll have family members that they so close with that they tell their family members everything you be like damn I thought it was just me and you in a relationship then you realize it's me you you and you too and your relationship but um yeah, with this broom, a new home, a new attitude. So um, this person, like I said, then then the reading start off with somebody having a new whip or something like that. Um, was that your reading where this person had a new whip? I believe so. But yeah, this person has some new stuff, some new, n new, new. Okay. Maybe this person is investing in a new home. I mean, they are money making Mitch, but like I said. You know, they got to be careful because something going to have them, you know, in a situation. There's an older woman here. This could be their mother, their grandmother, 
something like that. I don't think the mother card came out on this deck. And then basket, recognition, reward for merit. So this person could be getting, um, they could be getting their, um, with this basket, I'm thinking about what be in a basket. I'm thinking about bread, um, what else be like apples, you know, um, juice, whatever. But whatever this person is coming into, this person is coming into a time of, of like um abundance but the only thing is is i hope it's not like a trick you know a period of ill health and depression this person has been uh happy without you that's why that that fly energy is kind of coming out they could be like a wall on the fly they could be um a, a fly on the wall they could be watching you and stuff and they're definitely thinking about you with this dog energy dog far away a distant friend is thinking about you but they they can't let go of the pain what they feel is so real and i just feel like this person got to be careful in the way they move or else they facing like some type of prison time you know but let's go ahead and get into the tarot see what else is going on beloved what's up with um leo's person what does leo need to know about their person please what's going on with leo's person what does leo need to know about their person please you know, with this twin flame energy here, it's like, you know, it's that twin flame dynamic, that push and pull. And this is why they can't let you go. Because it's this 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 spiritual energy that uh, keep both of you guys kind of attached to one another. But this person needs to learn how to put their Johnson up. So, um, you know, they can ensure that they, you know, have what they want. But I feel like... I don't know who this black widow is with this domestic violence. This energy is kind of bothering me. I'm not going to lie. This is a very dangerous person. I'm going to tell you why with this domestic violence. Because this is a type of person that if this person does something to them, this person is the type of person call their brother on this person and then the shit just go on and on and on and on. Like... You want to talk about karmic type energy. Yeah, all right. There's all kind of different quote-unquote karmic type energy. But let's see what's up. What, is, what else does Leo need to know? What else does Leo need to know about this person? What else? Thank you. See what I'm saying? This person got to be careful. The justice card is at the bottom of the deck. But Leo... They got you, the king of, of um, wands. I don't know if you walked away from this person, left this person, or what the hell is going on there. But this person definitely is feeling the the pain of you being away. They still holding on to you, Leo. See how this person got two cups in their hand? They still holding on to you, Leo. They haven't let go. And I don't really usually read reversals, but this one want to be like, yeah, they want to come back. Like I said, it's going to take like a... Um, this tower moment or something for this person to wake up from their stoop from their slumber leo yeah this person feels this strong ass connection to you this two of cups energy this nine of swords and this um two of pentacles they can't let your ass go leo this person be in a lot of pain they can't tell their their friends and family members it's like i feel like this person suffers in a lot of silence and the way they're trying to deal with it is doing all the wrong shit you know let's see what else does leo need to know about this person what else does leo need to know about this person please what else does leo need to know about this person oh wow So I feel like with this rejection energy, they feel like you might reject them. So they're wondering if they come towards you, Leo, will you accept them back or will you reject them? Because whatever the hell they did to you, they feel like there's a possibility that you won't take them back. They sit in here, they're trying to play the victim role, Leo. And I feel like they're trying to play this victim role because this is how they're able to deal with whatever you and them have been through, Leo. Because what they really want to do is try to be with you, try to grow something new or do something different. But I feel like they feel like you're going to reject them, Leo, if they come back. Let's see. What does the Leo person want them to know? What does Leo person want them to know, please? What does Leo person want them to know, please? What does Leo person want them to know, please? What does Leo person want them to know, please? 
What does Leo person want them to know, please? Thank you. Okay, this person, this person, they um stupor. They go back and forth in their energy. They don't know, they don't know what to do. This is why they feel so much pain because the things they tell tell themselves is just crazy. But um, so Leo, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn placements. They say, they want you to know that they are trying, Leo. You have to give them a chance. So maybe you ain't gave this person uh, uh, another chance or another shot at um, being in your energy or being in your presence. But they um, they want you to know that they're trying. And what do they have to do to prove that they love you? You know, I love you, Leo. Why, why are you doing this to me, Leo? I just don't understand. I'm only with them because I don't want to be alone, Leo. Like you, the one, you, 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 the one, Leo, that I want. But you, you won't even give give me a chance. I wanted to insert some other words there, but you know how they talk, Leo. But um. If you really love me, Leo, you wouldn't have left me. This is where this person is playing this victim role at. Because they feel like since you left them, you didn't really love them. And what they got to do to prove they love you. Because they avoid you because they feel guilty for whatever the hell they did. Okay? They got this black widow in their energy and they don't even know it. And then to top it off, they tell me I'm emotionally unavailable, but I will still have sex with you. And why do I feel like this is what, what happens with this person, this black widow person, whoever that person is? Because uh, at the bottom of the deck, Leo, hold on, there's one more card that's turned over here. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Aries as well, Leo. But, um... So they want you to know, Leo, that they're secretly obsessed with you, Leo. They've never felt this way before. So that's that's why they ask, feel so much pain. They keep trying to hide their feelings. Let's see. What's the personality type that Leo's dealing with, please? What's the personality type that Leo's dealing with? Let me make some space here. What's the personality type? That Leo's dealing with, please. What's the person I would take that Leo's dealing with, please? Thank you so much, beloved. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, you know, wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. So, Leo, I know you're confused. This a new love? Well, shit, you better, um... Get ready to walk away from this person. It's too much. For someone that's new in your life, like, shit, I ain't expect for it to be all deep like this. But why is prostitute here? This person a hoe? Let me read this card and see what say. It accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. This person is money-making Mitch. Is this person, does this my person spend my, I don't know why I'm getting a trick energy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. But this person does have a spiritual side to them. They in touch with their spiritual uh, um, nature. They're not just a person out here just on that. Maybe, maybe, I don't know what would bring a person into that. Like either, either this person be tricking on whoever this black widow and this is what's causing all this domestic violence. Maybe this is, you know, they use this and this together to get what they want. I don't know. But um, why do they also have a beggar energy? And with a money making Mitch energy, do they be out here begging bitches for sex? And I don't mean to say it like that, but that's kind of how the energy I'm getting. You know how, like, you're, uh, how can I explain this? You know how a person could be unattractive, but money will make them attractive. And some women don't care about your money. Like, shh, okay, you got money, whatever. I'm still not attracted to you. I'm still not going to mess with you. That type of energy. So maybe this person, I don't know if they beg for it, if they need, like, I don't know. But they're a liberator. They definitely will help, um... This person is very, mm, how can I say this? 
this person has different aspects to themselves. I feel like they wear different faces in different places. Like they be different people. Because on one hand, they could be a prostitute, but then they can be like a saint, right? On one hand, they could be a beggar, but on the other hand, they could be a liberator. Like a liberator is someone who like, like fights for freedom or helps to free people or something like that. I mean, this person has interesting dynamics, Leo, for this person. Okay. Well, let's see here. Let's see the possible zodiac signs you're dealing with. Then we'll get a message to close out this reading. What's the possible zodiac signs that Leo's dealing with, please? Mm -mm. You know what's interesting, Leo? You keep a king of swords in your energy. Anybody else that Leo could possibly be dealing with, please, in this energy? So you have a Leo like yourself, an Aries, a Gemini, an Aquarius, and a Cancer. Cancers be in everybody energy. I'm sorry. Cancers know they get around. <laughs> uh, but um, let's go ahead and get you a um, message from Beloved. Close out the reading. Beloved, what does um, Leo need to know right now? What does Leo need to know right now? I have my angel messages pulled out. And I'm like, how are you going to put angel messages on this? Like, no, get something else. So let's see what's up. All right. Keep calm and fucking breathe. What's been going on, um, Leo? Raise the vibe one breath at a time. This person been pissing you off? Or having you upset or having you crying or having you not at peace keep calm breathe leave it in beloved's hand and watch how this situation turns around for you because like i said if this is a new person a new love this person got a lot of damn power like over you right now and this person can't let you go where's it at is it here i could have swore am i tripping yeah, it's a twin flame connection. And that's the reason why the draw and the drama is so real so quick. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know what to do. Take care.